Yes, we have a winner! In my never-ending quest to increase my massive backlog of games to review, I found a $10 bill, headed to a local game store, and browsed through all the cheapest games until I found something that looked interesting. I narrowed my choices down to Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz, and Dewey's Adventure. I decided to go with Dewey's Adventure because people have heard of Super Monkey Ball, and I'm scared of playing games that people have heard of because my channel is allergic to growth and shareability. Dewey's Adventure is an early game for the Wii, published by Konami and developed by the same studio who made Elevates. But I've never played that. Though I have played the Elibits game for DS, and that's actually really good, so I'll go into this with unreasonably high expectations. We start off with a bit of music. I'm sorry, I said music, didn't I? Because this is more akin to a beginner's piano exercise. I don't even play piano, and I'm certain I could learn this by ear in about 30 seconds. In fact, I just did. It's so fucking easy. Opuna the Zane, so I guess I'll use that soundtrack for the rest of the video. You know, I actually really like the art in this cutscene. Well, that ruined it. <sighs> Why does mom always have to bug me about studying? Stop. One line in and I'm already pissed. You see what this is, don't you? This isn't character development, this isn't even clunky exposition. It is a shoehorned line that adds nothing besides forced relatability. Hey kids, school is for fools. Please like our shit. Hmm, that was a beautiful song. Bitch, did you listen to me before? This song is an exercise. Now, you mind telling me what you're doing here? Well, I don't think that's any of your business. I'm reading a book. Oh, really now? What are you doing here? I'm... Well, um, I'm... I just love this hill. Will you let this kid finish? He obviously has some issues. Huh? You mean this crummy old thing? All right, I know that it's customary to get women to do the voices of young boys in animation because kids can't act for shit. Are you an angel? What? But you at least have to try and fit into the role. Doing a regular voice but with a clothespin on your nose doesn't exactly get me invested into the characters. So anyway, this little kid and apparently adult lady start having a conversation about a tree and some festivals and... Does anyone else find this really uncomfortable? Is that the book you were reading? Yes. Shall I read it to you? You are creepy, lady. So this completely unnecessary cutscene fades away into the start menu and oh my god, this is the cutest goddamn menu I have ever seen in my life. I may be an adult male Megadeth fan, but you cannot deny the sheer amount of adorable wobbling on screen right now. Even the sound effects in the menu can melt the coldest heart. As a side note, this cute as hell menu for a kid's game has a bubbly button that displays copyright information. Riveting. Though this is also the third time I've heard this incredibly weak song. We hear the backstory of Dewey's adventure where a world of seven cliches, I mean colors, were all harmonious and shit until blacks moved in, I mean black water started raining and was led by Don Hedron Collider. The tree of seven colors gave birth to Dewey, no this is not a summary, this is word for word, to fight against the evil blackness. Dewey won and everything was happy and as time passed people forgot about Dewey and his quest to save the neighborhood until one day the black rain falls again and Dewey is called to fight back. Okay, maybe I shouldn't overanalyze the plot of Dewey's fucking adventure this harshly, but what the hell was the point of all that backstory? The plot of this game is an ancient war happened and a hero was summoned to stop it. Then years later, the exact same war happens and the exact same hero is again summoned to stop it. Why? Why not just make the game take place during that story you told? There's no reason to have this here besides literally telling the audience the ending. I want to hug this fucking loading screen. Dewey slides in the direction you tilt the Wii remote, oh shit. So I actually like motion control. When done right. I feel like most people's problems with motion control on the Wii is when they aren't sitting up straight, their sensor bar is obstructed, or they just played a game that had no idea how to use it. Dewey's Adventure is one of those games. The entire game is played by tilting the Wiimote, but unlike Mario Kart Wii where it's played by simply tilting it left and right to turn, which is intuitive because it works like an actual steering wheel, Dewey is played by tilting in two dimensions. And again, unlike games that did this better by having you hold the remote straight up, here you hold it like you would a standard controller. That means tilting up and down is incredibly uncomfortable. Then combine the wrist pain with ice physics on everything and you have a frustrating experience. I guess I should have got Super Monkey Ball because apparently it did this same thing well. 
A few more gameplay touches are offered, such as shaking the Wiimote up and down to cause windstorms, and shaking it side to side to cause earthquakes. Because this is an intuitive thing to do, you also have a ground pound, or as Dewey calls it, a hip slam, because Dewey has that figure. Woohoo! You got some camera film. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Dewey is a cute as hell game, and I'd love to take some pictures. Oh. You can't control the camera. Then what was the point? For the more interesting gameplay features, you can raise and lower the temperature to change Dewey's state. Turn him into a block of ice to make attacking enemies easier, or turn him into a rain cloud, which restricts movement but lets you loose your righteous fury and smite all those beneath you. In the next level, we have the exact same stuff, and oh man, this game is really boring. I might be able to handle it and push through, but these controls are so frustrating and uncomfortable that there is no joy in playing besides looking at this cute little shit. Hell, apparently the game originally came with a plushie that I probably should have spent the extra money for. It just becomes a lot of awkward adjustments when you're trying your hardest not to slip off the way too many cliffs. I'm sorry, what is this? Dewey's Adventure is sponsored by Nestle. Nestle saw that Japan had a game about water and decided to toss them some dough to push the aquapod. What is the aquapod? Well, it's bottled water. But it's in a fun shape that encourages kids to drink water. And probably costs a lot more than regular bottled water that tastes exactly the same. On the one hand, I want to ask if kids and parents were stupid enough to fall for nonsense marketing like this, but we all know the sad truth is, yeah, probably. Just put tap water in a sippy cup, you'll achieve the same effect for a lot less. This has made me uncomfortable. That's the final nail in the coffin to get me to stop playing Dewey. The slippery controls completely ruined this experience and I'm not sure how I feel playing a game sponsored by these guys. 15 minutes of playtime is enough for a completely fair review, right?